everyone. Welcome back to ePapery. This is Michael, and today I'm going to do another What's in My Mail hashtag junk mail challenge. So let's take a look at what I did have come in my mail. Hasn't been very interesting lately. Um, I did get another Discover envelope, and along with that, some papers in it that are heavier paper that we could use. And then the rest of what I got was just basically regular window and plain envelopes. So I think today what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just this um, plain business envelope here. And I think I'm just going to try and make a pocket, a library pocket type thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is to glue the um, envelope shut. So, excuse me while I do it, that over here to the side. I'm just going to take it and glue it shut. Oh. Okay, so we got that done. I guess I'm just going to fold this up like this. Uh, bone folder is here. I could do this one of two ways. I could um, leave it like this and just, you know, cut off this end and this end, which would basically make um, like two pockets here and would make um, like it could be two pockets here with just a little bit here. Okay. And actually I'm going to make this pretty simple and by doing this I may be able to actually make two of a lot of this. Let's see. So what I have done is I have cut both sides of the envelope. I'm thinking that this might be a little wider than what I want because this is about, well, it's four and a half inches. Nope, I'm going to leave it that way. I am going to leave it that way. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut all the edges off the envelope. So I hope your summer is doing okay, especially with the heat we've got going here. It's just not, not fun. You can't be outside a whole lot because it's too hot. I think it was on Thursday we went to um, a grand opening for a new splash pad here in town that my son-in-law actually designed and it was so hot that day oh my gosh there were an awful lot of kids at the splash pad but um, yeah grandpa and I couldn't stay there very long because it was way too warm for us so Okay, so, I mean, this is just so basic. It's just, I just folded it up and I'm just basically using this like it was a piece of paper, you know. Um, and so I'm going to cover it. Um, let's see, what should we use from the new papers? Actually, I think I might use this one. So let's see if we can cut that out. I almost forgot which one I decided to use. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut off these, although you wouldn't have to because Aaron has basically made um, the background on these a, a nice, you know, 
beige or cream color, so you would necessarily have to um, cut that off, but I'm going to. All right. Okay, so this is going to be rather quick, I think. Let's hope. So I'm just going to take this and glue it. Um, and again, you can sew this. I have a tendency not to sew things that I'm doing on video only because of the fact that it's on video and it makes it difficult for me to sew. I have such a um, small area. I would have to drag my um, sewing machine up off the floor, etc. And I don't really want to do that. So, ah, that's not even straight, Michael. Goodness gracious, girl. Okay, so. Dory, what do you want, honey? No, I know Grandpa's not here, but Grandma has no idea what you think you want other than Grandpa. <laughs> okay, so we got that part on there. And then we want to cover this with something. What do we want to do? Hmm. So many papers to choose from. Now I could do this with the little birdie there. Yeah, I kind of like that. Mark this where we need it to be. Right there and right there. What's the matter, Dory, huh? No, yeah, I know. Grandpa's not here, and when Grandpa's not here, she gets overly anxious because she is definitely Grandpa's girl. I don't know if I can see my mark here. There it is, I think. Okay, so. There. Good girl. Yeah. So we're just going to stick that there. So what kind of projects are you guys up to? Um, July is almost over. Wow. I don't know where the time has gone. Glob of glue. My daughter and her family went to the in-laws this weekend and okay and the boys are staying there for a week with their other grandparents so that means grandpa and I get a whole week off wow we won't know what to do with ourselves It's covered. Wow. So I'm going to round the corners on this one. Just because I kind of like the corners rounded. There we go. And I am going to round these corners. There. Well, our library card is, our pocket is like, you know, pretty much done. So what I think I will do now is um, ink a little bit. So there you go. That's the library pocket. Simple, huh? And glue it here.
and glue it on the side. Okay. And there we have our cute library pocket. Okay. We could do one of two things. We could make another one out of this half of the envelope so that we have two so we don't waste anything. Or we could take this and make a couple of tags. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to... I'm going to make a small tag and a larger tag. So kind of right where I folded it to begin with, I'm going to give it cut. And now we've got some extra pieces here, which we can either pull off or glue down. I think I'm going to glue them down. So, well, maybe. <laughs> because we don't want it to come apart. Okay. And actually this one needs to be glued here too. Okay. So I got that one. And this one. this down a little bit so it fits in there. I want it to fit in there rather nicely so I'm just going to try and mark this where I think I can. Okay and then we're going to cut this down here. just test this to make sure it's going to fit in there and it does. Uh, do I want it shorter? No, actually I think I want it that length. So, all right, there we go. Let's take some plain paper here and cover the back of these. If I can pick them up. Oh, that one's going to be too small. So we need to find there. Okay, so we can add this one to that. So. Yeah, it's hard to believe. Um, the boys just got out of summer school. They're going to take a week at their grandparents, um, other grandparents, and then after that, they're back home for only a couple of weeks and then school starts again already. It's like, <laughs> I feel kind of bad for them because, you know, they've gone to summer school and now they're going to be off for just a few weeks and then they have to go back to school again. Which means that uh, Grandpa and I will have a little bit more... Um, time because we won't have to be watching the boys all the time. Do I want that in there or do I want something more colorful? So can I get her all on there? Well, I may have to cut off her feet, huh? And some of her wings. Feet or wings? Feet or wings? Let's see.
Okay, so there's my lady. Um, now, I want to take this one so that I use up all of the envelope and back it. What I could do, too, is just take this and put it on the back. There's some journaling there, but you still have butterflies. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so this is going to be the back of the card and for journaling. And now we got to figure out something to put on the front. I think what I wanted to do is do this. That fits almost perfectly there. Okay. There's our little card. So we can stick that right in there. Now we have two cards, one small one and one large one. Did I ink the back of this? No, I did not. Maybe we want to do a little bit of decorating here. Okay, so there is the library pocket uh, made out of one business junk mail envelope. I hope you like it. Um, I had also made another one for Christmas. This one I made a little smaller, as you can see. Um, but here it's made the same way. And here are the cards that go in that one. So there. Hopefully you can see those. So that's the uh, hashtag junk mail challenge for today. I hope that uh, you are all well and that you're having a good day and if you do one of these I hope that you will share it on our Facebook group or on Instagram please please leave a comment I would really appreciate knowing what you think all right guys we'll talk to you later bye